Hello, people. It's Poet, and we are in Better Than Wolves, although you probably couldn't tell because we are currently in a little tiny tunnel. But I think I've mapped myself out right. I'm trying to get into the windmill from... I'm by where our little cooking area is. Uh, you can kind of hear the fire if you listen very closely. So I'm trying to get from where the fire is, which will be in this direction, to where the little um, gear and axle and everything... Oh, I think we've reached it! Where the gear box is, and I was dead on. Wow! Who needs coordinates? Actually, I just kind of eyeballed it and counted like 17 times, but I got it. So I'm going to just take out this layer too. Oh! If I take out that layer, then that's the ground. So I'm going to have to, like, lay down the axles and, like, never be able to come through here again. Unless I cut out... Here, let's let's do that. I'm just going to place some torches. Oops. Place some torches like that. And then I'm going to take out this wall, too. Yeah, that'll be my only option. Just so that I can get by here. Kind of make a, an underground, not a sewer system, but like a maintenance tunnel is basically what this has become. So we're going to do that. Let me just place a block there so that I can run around the corner without falling. And this, of course, leads into our poo farm. Maybe I should make some doors for this. Like, oops, not there. Go like that and then just put, like, doors here and then have, like, m staff entry only or something. And... What do I want to do with this? Do I want to dress the floor up here, too? This is where I was testing the poo farm. You can see the outline of where the dog would sit. That's where I was originally testing it. I was thinking of maybe... I don't know. If doors are going to go there, then maybe I'd just make the whole floor the stone brick look. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I got lots of cobblestone to use, so... Why not? So how's everyone's week been going? Mine's been going pretty good. It's, of course, Dinosaur Week on uh, my other videos, so hope you guys are enjoying that if you are following that series, and if not, well, then you probably should, unless it's not your thing, and then I can't force you, but <laughs> I'd like to try to force you. Watch it. I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, my phone going off. Don't know if anybody heard that, but oh, yes, this is perfect. Okay. I kind of dug this hole to determine where the entry point for my gearbox would be and look at this again dead on beautiful okay the bellows is gonna sit right here and then an axle coming out gearbox going down so I think this is gonna have to break and I'm just gonna steal some of the coal dig the blocks right out from under me just like that we have been really shorted on diamonds and things on in this particular world. I've been looking for diamonds, and you can just go forever. You find lots of redstone, but never any diamonds. It's very, very, very disappointing. But what can you do? I guess that's just bad luck. I don't think that they've tweaked like the rarity of diamonds in this mod. I don't think they have. I wouldn't be surprised, considering they've made just about everything else very, very difficult. But... I don't think that they have done that, so I couldn't explain it. Okay, so here we go. That is perfect. And now I'll just cut out this wall too, because I want to be able to get to my gearboxes. Why oh, place a torch there when I was just going to break it off? I don't know. And we'll do it like that. And then we can place a torch. Okay, so how are we going to get out of this place? Uh... Oh, I know. We'll just walk this way. The long way around. Alright. So what I was going to do, I guess I'll get it if I don't have it in my inventory. Of course I don't. I'll get the bellows. Now, one thing that I've really wanted to make for a long time is an enchanting area. I had a craft... <laughs> crafting. Enchanting table somewhere. Uh, right there. And I think I have sort of enough books to start well not not very many books but I could let's see how many do you need per book 
bookshelf, so I have enough for three bookshelves. That's not very much. <laughs> That's pathetic. You're pathetic. I need to kill some cows to get some more books. Look at these powder kegs. I've never shown anybody these powder kegs before. I had TNT in my inventory, and that TNT was from the, uh, the temples that I found, those desert temples. And what happened is the mod updated and made all TNT these powder kegs. It still says TNT on it. Um, I'm not 100% sure why. I might have wrote... Uh, I might have written TNT on it. I'm not sure if that was me or the guy who made the texture pack. I can't remember. But there's a powder keg. Pretty cool, huh? Now you can do sort of cool things with powder kegs. You can eventually make special mining blasts, I think. So... Or, or at least you can do something similar to that with gunpowder. So I'm just gonna wait and see. It might make uh, vertical drilling very, very, very easy is what I hear. Is basically you make these blast things. Not the powder kegs, but they're like... It looks like a half slab powder keg. And you place it down. And from what I understand, you light it or whatever, and it'll blast downwards in a 3x3 three three block, and you just, or maybe it's 5x5, five 4x4, five, four four, whatever, it's a, it's a, it's a round number, and you uh, basically dig downwards that way, so very, very, very efficient, much better than what I was doing over there with my, where I want to put the pulley and all of that, it's just going to take forever if I dig it by hand. So I'm thinking of making some. And now these. Look at this. A block of flint. Now before I make a block of flint, I'm going to just take it and turn it into... Eh? Oh, I guess I have to break it, so you'll see it. Look at this. It looks like bedrock. <laughs> I don't know why it looks like bedrock, but it does. Um, however, I guess that's maybe to scare your friends. Scare your friends with the looks of bedrock, or maybe... Just maybe the texture pack is broken. But I think that this is how it's supposed to be. And it looks like bedrock. And you can break it. And it just turns into uh, nine little pieces of flint. Which, of course, you can go to a crafting table and put together like any other block. And make a block of flint. Now, I don't really know what the point is. Because looking like that, it's pretty hideous. But I guess some people might like it. I kind of played around with it. I thought maybe... I could make the whole floor here flint, but it didn't look good, so moving right along. Uh, anything else to show you while I'm in here? Looks like I've missed a lot. I mean, that those powder kegs have been there f since, like, episode 3 or 4 or something, so I've missed showing you guys a lot. Nothing to show in here. I think that was about it. I mean, you guys have seen, for the most part, everything. I got six hibachis. That's pretty good, right? I need three more, which means I need to go to the nether, and maybe we will do that in this episode. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of worried. Anyway, we'll, we'll take this bellows. I think all I need is the one bellows to light up all of these hibachis that I'll have under here. And it basically goes right... How do I place it now? Like that? I think that's right. How can I tell? Because that side and that side, yeah. So as the the circle faces inside, so that's how I want it. And I'm going to have an axle coming out, and then a gearbox, and this will be great. This will be very good. So that's exactly how I want it. If I used it now, because these are just normal uh, nether rack. Oh, crap. Man, I don't know the power of my own. How It was like I barely tapped it. There we go. Um, it's just plain netherrack. It'll just blow the fire out if I use it now. So basically, I take that bellows, and I need to put uh, hibachis down. So I'll do that, at least for the front half. Let's get that done. That's about to die. Let's make a new pick. And I really want to get that enchanting table going somehow. Three bookshelves is definitely not enough, but maybe... I mean, it's better than nothing, right? I could at least start with that. Get something going. Even if I can 
enchant up to like level 7. That's better than nothing. Okay, so taking this pick. I'll use up this one before I start using the other one. And I'm just going to go and remove everything that I placed around here. Okay, anything in here? Nope. Give me. Don't burn in the fire. Oh, that would be bad. Wow, look at look at that. I barely It just breaks instantaneously. Is nether I didn't think netherrack was like that normally. So I think they made it softer. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> just felt like it sort of. Okay, so that goes like that, that and that. I'm going to try to get like that. Okay, so that's the six. Six is better than nothing. It'll at least be able to stoke these things. And then eventually I'll put the other uh, the other hibachis in the back. And it'll be super ultra efficient for this middle one. So cannot wait for that. Just place that there. The side ones are not efficient, but I don't care. It still allows me to cook three things at once, so I'm happy about that. All right, so now it's just a matter of hooking that up. Eat a potato. Potatoes are my savior in this in this world. I remember when we first started, it was like we're going to starve. We are just going to starve to death. Put that there. Uh I like breaking them into eights. 8 8 and then there we go. So far, so good. Let's just break it again. Like that, and like that. Okay, we had a perfect amount. Divisible by eight. So now we've got... Uh, it's a little bit of a larger supply of coal. I can maybe cook up some of that iron that I have. Grab, grab, place. Grab and place. What did I come here for? Oh yeah, axles. I was going to look for. Axles and gearboxes. I got... 18 gearboxes, axles, that's done. I'll just make some since I don't seem to have any. And I think I need to use planks. Not sure why they don't let you use... Uh, I think that's how many I need, about 18. Right? I don't know why they don't let you use the uh, the cut wood, like the... Uh, well, not slabs. What are they called in this? Well, you know what what I mean. I'm surprised they don't let you use them. Very, very interesting. Okay, so let's place that like that. And then I wanted a... Let me see. Do I want the gearbox right here? Uh, no, let's do it. You know what? To make this a little bit easier, I'm going to jump down. Place it there. And then a gearbox. And that's going to have to turn to, uh, I need an empty hand. Oh, missed it. There we go. Okay, and now one, two. Okay, that's good. That's good. Very good so far. Yep, okay. So now I can do one, two, three. Gearbox. One. <laughs> That's a waste. Oh well. Gearboxes apparently make you lose power as well, so... Oh, wait, I'm placing these wrong. I'm placing these backwards. Oops. They should actually be like that. I wasn't really thinking. Okay, and then... let me Let me see it. Can I see it? Please. Here we go. Because it flows into where the arrows are. That's right. Okay, so this is good. I hope I have enough. One, two, three. Oh, crap. I placed it wrong again. Darn -o. Okay, one, two, three. Oh! No! <laughs> Okay, so what I have to do, I guess, it's kind of crummy, is uh, place it like that. That is lame. Man. But that'll work. Okay, so this is done. And I think I... 
Well, I, I never heard the rain, so has it stopped? Yes, it stopped. So let's go turn this windmill back on. I stopped it when it started to rain so that it didn't blow up. So let's go all the way up. Flip it on. Uh-oh. What's that noise? Oh, crap. Shut up. Oh. Wow. Sorry about that. Whose ears are now bleeding? Okay, so that... Right. I know what I have to do. This is right. Okay, this is how you get the bellows to work, and I kind of messed up here. I need this turntable. I wasn't thinking. I'm going to have to make myself another turntable for doing the... Uh, the clay pottery by the sea. But in the meantime, I need to get this working somehow. Um, it has to rotate. And it rotates by being on here. And then powers that. How does this work? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got something in mind. And while I sort of dig this out and work on this, uh, I guess I'll answer some of the Q&A. So, it's Q&A time. First question, it was actually posted on a very old episode, but I will answer it anyway, just because. This is from Anif Golotik, and they ask, uh, who would win? A T-Rex versus a Spinosaurus? Ooh. Topical very topical relates to my uh my dinosaur series i like it uh let's see this is not going to work here uh oh okay that's turning but if i place anything on it it'll just break uh how is this going to work i have to figure this out okay so who would win spinosaurus or a t-rex my personal opinion for many reasons, I think the T-Rex. That's just my opinion. I have no science behind that. I don't care who was the biggest. Big doesn't mean the best. That's right. So, leave it at that. <laughs> That's all I will say about that argument. I'm just going to use bricks again because it lets me display things kind of, sort of, properly. Oh, oh wait. Got him. Got him already. Okay, so place one there, there, okay, so now I got the two spinning, and what I do with that, if I cover this, and let me figure this out, like that, and like that, right? spinning too fast. How do I slow it down? Uh, okay, empty hand. Wait. Nope, still too slow. Too fast, I mean. Eh? Okay. Huh? Well, it's it's going. Do I need to... Oh, I think I need to light it. Otherwise, it's just blowing nothing. Embarrassing. <laughs> All right. The next question. Actually, it's several questions I'll answer. And, yep, I'm being generous because it's all from the same person, so why not? This is from E. Kitrific. And uh, they ask, do you... Oh, crap. What did I write? <laughs> do you like to dance? And if so, do you think you're any good at it? I do love to dance. I love it probably a little bit too much. Do I love to dance? Of course. Am I good at it? No. No, no, no. Um, I am probably the lamest person on the dance floor. Just pathetic. But <laughs> I love it anyway. Can't stop me. Okay, so there. It's sort of lighting, but... Stay lit. 
Ah. Okay, let's try this. Like this. Maybe like maybe if it's a little bit faster. Is that working? Ah. This is sort of working, but it's going still maybe like this. Let's try. No, as soon as it goes up again, it's just uh why is it not working? I think it's maybe because we're too far away. I hope that's not the case. I wanted this to work so badly. Uh. Uh. Work. Why is it not working? Please, someone. Someone in the comments tell me. I think it's because of how far we are away. This just isn't getting power fast enough, maybe? I mean, if I go like that, then it stokes it. But as soon as it goes back up again, it just blows it out. And I don't like that idea. I want it to go faster than this, I think. Maybe because we're so far away. Uh Crummy. I almost need to make like my own piss, um, repeater clock or something. And then time it that way. Maybe that's what I'll end up doing. I thought the turntable would be the best way of, of doing this clock type of thing. But if not, then well, I guess that's it. Okay, next question from the same person. Uh, do you ever listen to car talk? The answer would be no. Um, I have heard about it. Um, and I did look into it upon hearing the question, but nope, I do not listen to car talk. Um, whoa, crap, forgot about fire spread. Uh, I mean, I watch Power Block on TV and things like Gears and, of course, Top Gear. I mean, that's about as auto show as I get. Um, other than that, really, no, not car talk. Um, I've watched other similar programs like My Classic Car and things like that, but no, 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 no car talk. Next question is, are you sure you're 27? You sound older. <laughs> that is the very, I, I have to say, honestly, honestly, the very first time anyone has said I sounded older. I want people's opinion on this, but I'm pretty certain of it. Uh, most people think I, that I sound a lot younger than I am. I don't know how I sound. I I sound like me, so... Whoops! Oh, Maybe that's not a good example as to <laughs> do a derpy jump off <laughs> when I'm trying to claim my maturity, but that's what you get. So, am I 27? Yes, I'm 27. The next question is from Lil Cobby. One, two, three, four. And the question, it just rained. Why is it raining again? It's too, too soon. Go away. Good thing I have the particles turned off or it'd be loud. Go out of the rain, close the doors, get out of here. Oh, no, no. Oh, I just realized. Oh, please don't break. Oh, crap. Don't break. Can I make it in time? Can I make it? No, I just missed it. Ah, darn. Well, we almost made it in time to get the, the switch. That's why I want to situate one on the floor so that I don't have to run up the ladder. Close, but no cigar. This thing wasn't really working much anyway. So, oh well. Anyway, the question's from Lil Kavi, one, two, three, four. And the question is, if you could go anywhere, where would it be? Are we speaking fantasy? I don't know. But I'll, I'll just keep it to the real world. Where in the real world would I go if I had the chance? Somewhere that I've never been before. I'd have to say maybe France. Uh, just throwing it out there because I love the food. I love French food. My family was French. And so we grew up on a lot of French foods. French Canadian foods in particular. And I've always loved French cuisine. Um, any food from France to me is, is pretty luxurious, pretty, you know, I love the, the butteriness and the creaminess and the, 
the pastries and all that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> I mean, if I could go anywhere, it would be France and probably for the food. If I could go anywhere for the sites, it would be Italy. I've never been to Italy. And um, being an archaeologist at heart, I would love, love, love to go to Italy. So those are my two wants in life. Um, and we'll leave it at that. Okay, well, we didn't get a lot accomplished, but I think this is going to be it for today because these creepers scared me so bad. How long have they been there and they just scared so bad? I hate them. I hate them. Punch. Face. Punch. Oh, okay, heart attack, heart attack. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, we're going to leave this episode. <laughs> That's the end. End of the episode. Why? Because it's Dinosaur Week and we got lots playing today. Um, so, hope you guys enjoy all the videos. We'll see you all next time. And next video, we are going to... Look at our walls completed. Maybe we're going to... I don't know. I don't know what we could do. I'm going to try to get this bellows to work is what I'm going to do. And maybe show you that in the next video. So see you guys next time. Thanks for the questions. Ask them on YouTube. Bye-bye.